What's going on, folks? Man, it's your boy Money Man coming back to you again from you know the set where today we're gonna talk about these things right here. What are these? The new Ray Ban Meta Smart Glasses. I, yeah, stop, just stop, just stop. I already know what you about to say. I don't want to hear it, but hear me out. <laughs> We're gonna talk about these glasses, bro, because on one hand, they're absolutely phenomenal. On the other hand, some people might not think so. Some people might abuse these in a way they really shouldn't be. But we're gonna get into it, man. Let's get the specs out the way, man. First of all, you got 21 different variations of these glasses that you get from matte black, shiny black, uh, the blue caramel, you got 21 different variations of what you can get with these glasses. Um, they can weigh anywhere between 48 grams, 50 grams. So um, actually you do have a pair. So four, we'll say 49 grams on average is what these glasses can weigh, right? <clears throat> we got 12 megapixel cameras not just any camera, wide angle cameras. So you can capture more with these cameras. We got 32 gigabytes of storage in these glasses, which is capable of up to 500 photos and 100 30 second videos. Now, yeah. now, yeah. that's a lot. But we're saying 30 seconds, right? But we're gonna kick that out the way because these are actually capable of getting you up to 60 second clips, which is an upgrade over the last version of the stories. These, um, in my opinion, are a slam dunk. They have Snapdragon. Qualcomm AR1 uh, platform processor in the glasses, which is gonna definitely help with the battery life. And talking about the battery life, you get up to four hours on a charge. Four hours on one charge. Oh, that's not anything, right? That's why they give you this case. It is definitely more stylish than the one that they had last year. It was rugged. It looked just like a generic glasses case. This one, we got a LED on there. Leather, man, look at there. Talk about quality. This is definitely quality over what they gave us last year. Now that, that's enough about the quality because you can get up to 32 hours of charge with the case with these glasses, 32 hours. That ain't nothing to snuff it right there. That's all day plus some if you just want to wild out like that, right? I have not charged the case to these glasses since I got them. And I think I got these on Thursday or Friday. But it's been all weekend with me, man, with these things. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys some, some B-roll here, some videos that I shot and you let me know what you think about the quality of the video. Now, I did mention that it comes with capturing wide angles, right? But if you're shooting content for YouTube, like I'm doing now, you can use that in the 916 ratio and not lose much of your information, right? Or you can upload straight to Instagram and you won't lose any of that. Now, if you wanna go down to a 16.9, you crop in, you're gonna lose some of your information but that's cool because it's so wide, you actually can frame your, your work just how you need it, depending on how you actually shot it. Now, why that's important, for someone that's doing POV, like unboxings, like what I plan to do with these, or you're doing a sneaker blog, uh, a pickup, something like that, that you're recording those 60 second clips, that'll actually come in handy because when you crop in, you won't lose much of your data. And even with the POV, 
that's actually really good because you get a wider area of what you can lay out in your unboxing. That's gonna be clutch for me. And number two with that is I'll show you guys some more B-roll here of me when I'm actually riding my Riker and how much of an area that you're able to capture when you're shooting, right? But that doesn't come with, with all perks. The downfall to that is the stabilization in these isn't the best. Now, I know it's on your face, cool. But when you're just shooting those 60 second clips, you have to train yourself on how to turn your head. So it doesn't make the, pe the people that are watching your content nauseous. <laughs> To say the least, because I did, I was welling out when I first got them. I was turning everywhere, looking, and that's quite jarring. So I had to actually learn how to slow myself down and, like, in a sense, pan to look at things that I was capturing when I was doing it, right? Um, but the stabilization is a little shaky. We get that. That's fine. But it's still great because when you crop in that kind of helps with the stabilization now when you're live streaming what i did notice is when you look the camera has a cinematic effect it pans it slowly so you don't make the people who are watching sick or to the point where they just don't want to watch it but we'll talk about that in another video when i do a demo or whatever so my initial thoughts for these dope super dope glad I caught them for the reasons that I stated before that how I'm going to use them and like I mean we make mad trips to Disney and we go to all the theme parks here um, so this is gonna be clutch for me capturing things without having to whip out my phone to take pictures which is even more weird and for me even though i've made content I, it's still weird for me i guess i'm of that age group where i'm just like no oh, somebody's gonna not like it with that being said some people might not like these either because they figure you're always recording that's just the way it is with smart glasses, it's always been that way. People always had that stigma of like, oh, well, are you recording me? No. But the cool thing about these is they have this feature that when you are recording, it lets people know that you're recording. You can see it from the inside here and they can see it from the outside of when you're actually recording. Genius idea. It was like that on the version last year, but I think this version is a little more prominent to where it makes it more aware that you're doing what you're doing. With that being said though, I was recording mad times yesterday when we were out. Nobody batted an eye. Nobody looked at me funny. Nobody did any of that when we were out yesterday and I was just recording, just recording, just because, right? So I don't think that it's going to be a big of a deal as some, some people have led on to believe. What I do believe is Meta and Rayman have absolutely broken the barrier on smart glasses going forward because these are not only light, they're fashionable, they serve a purpose, and it's, yeah, it's just technology, man. Why fight it? Come on over. It's cool. Just come on over. It's fine. The water is fine. Thus say the money mat here on the set. But let me know, man, what y'all think, man. Are these the new peeping toms or are they some fit for it? I don't know. Let me know what y'all think, bro, because for me, I'm going to tell y'all top. The majority of what I'm going to be doing with these glasses is listening to music because the microphones, well, the speakers in these glasses are absolutely phenomenal.
that alone is worth the price of admission. So at $299, this is on par with another pair, with any pair of like a pair of Bose earbuds or uh, Beats earbuds. So $299, you get cameras, you get style, and you get the Bluetooth functionality where you can take calls, make calls, um, listen to your music, listen to your content that you're watching on your phone. It's a win-win-win situation, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. It's your boy, Money Matt. Please like and subscribe to the channel because this is what we do, man. We continue to bring you awesome content on sneakers, electronics, and toys because these are definitely a toy.